There are over a hundred space companies in the world, and most of them have been around far longer than SpaceX. Yet, when you compare all of them combined, they haven't even come close to achieving what SpaceX has done in just two decades. If you ask me what made SpaceX so successful, it's simple. Their ability to innovate rapidly. They move fast, test fast, and upgrade fast, without wasting any time. A perfect example of this is what has happened after the recent Starship launches. SpaceX has already implemented several key changes to Starship that will significantly improve future launches. In this video, we're going to talk about these upgrades and how they will impact future missions. But before we dive deeper, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. The development of Starship is divided into different versions and prototypes, each serving a specific purpose to test certain capabilities. SpaceX has built multiple upper-stage prototypes, starting with Starhopper, which laid the groundwork for future designs. These have evolved through different serial numbers, or SN, including SN8 through SN15, which tested high-altitude flight and re-entry. The latest test flights use what are called Block 1 prototypes, with further versions planned for more advanced missions. Each prototype focuses on different aspects like engine performance, heat shield capabilities, or structural integrity during re-entry. Rather than waiting for a perfect design, SpaceX builds prototypes, conducts tests, and applies lessons learned to the next iteration. This approach is why, when you look at the five Starship flights so far, each one has been better than the previous one. The first flight in April 2023, featuring S-24 and Booster 7, was a major milestone but ended in failure due to structural issues during stage separation. The second flight in June 2023, with S-25 and Booster 8, attempted to improve upon the first but problems persisted during re-entry. The third flight in December 2023, with S-27 and Booster 9, showed better results, including successful stage separation, though engine issues during the landing burn led to a crash. Flight 4 in June 2024, which used S-29 and Booster 11, was more successful, with controlled landings of both stages. However, significant damage to the forward flaps during re-entry was still an issue. The most recent flight, Flight 5 in October 2024, using S-30 and Booster 12, marked the first time both the booster and Starship were successfully recovered. The booster was caught by the launch tower, and the Starship upper stage performed a controlled re-entry and splashdown. While this flight was a major success, some flap burns during re-entry indicated that further improvements are still needed. Now, Flight 5 is, without a doubt, more successful than all the previous four flights combined. However, there were still some serious issues that surfaced during the flight. Flight 5 saw Starship and Super Heavy Booster 12 perform well during the initial stages of launch. After liftoff, the booster successfully powered through the atmosphere with its 33 Raptor 2 engines, generating an enormous amount of thrust. The first stage separation which had been a challenge in previous flights, went smoothly. Once the booster detached, the Starship upper stage was on its own, continuing toward its intended flight path. This upper stage, S-30, performed better than any previous Starship prototypes during its ascent. However, while the vehicle managed to complete much of the flight successfully, the real challenges became evident during re-entry. As the spacecraft re-entered Earth's atmosphere, it encountered issues with its flap joints, these flaps experienced significant stress and heat during the high-speed re-entry. Although the heat shield did its job in protecting the Starship's main body, the flap joints began to show signs of burns. This damage occurred toward the end of the flight, during the flip maneuver. The flap joint burns impacted the vehicle's control during descent, causing a less-than-perfect trajectory for the landing. Although Starship ultimately splashed down safely, the performance during this critical phase highlighted that further refinements to the flap design and heat shielding are necessary. Another challenge during Flight 5 was the behavior of the heat shield itself. While it protected most of the vehicle, the shield's interaction with the flaps during re-entry created weak points. These weak spots where the heat shield tiles meet the moving flaps are particularly vulnerable during the high-temperature descent. 
SpaceX is now focusing on version 2 prototypes to address these issues. One of the most critical upgrades in version 2 of Starship is the redesigned heat shield. During previous test flights, the heat shield experienced significant stress during re-entry, causing burns to the flap joints, as seen in Flight 5. SpaceX is now upgrading the heat shield by using stronger materials and improving the layout of the hexagonal tiles. The flap design has also been revised. In earlier versions, the large and heavy forward flaps were positioned in such a way that they created significant aerodynamic drag and were prone to damage during re-entry. In version 2, SpaceX has reduced the size of the flaps and repositioned them to improve maneuverability and stability during re-entry. SpaceX is not just refining the Starship design, but also making significant improvements to the Raptor engines, specifically with the development of the Raptor 3. The Raptor engines, crucial for powering both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship, have undergone several upgrades since their inception, and the Raptor 3 represents a major leap forward in efficiency, power, and simplicity. The Raptor 3 delivers 51% more thrust compared to the first version and 22% more thrust compared to Raptor 2, reaching a thrust of 280 tons force. This is a significant upgrade over the 185 tons force of the original Raptor 1 and the 230 tons force of the Raptor 2, and allows SpaceX to surpass the thrust levels required for massive payloads, like the ones planned for Mars missions. For comparison, NASA's Saturn V rocket, which remains one of the most iconic in history, generated 7.5 million pounds of thrust with five F-1 engines. In contrast, Super Heavy equipped with 33 Raptor III engines can generate over 10 million pounds of thrust, more than double Saturn V's thrust, all while aiming for reusability. One of the key improvements in Raptor III is its simplified design, which cuts down on both weight and complexity. The engine weighs just 1,525 kilograms, lighter than both the Raptor 1 and Raptor 2, which weighed 2,080 kilograms and 1,630 kilograms, respectively. This reduction in weight boosts the overall efficiency of the rocket, allowing more payload to be carried. The simplification extends to the internal structure, where integral cooling circuits replace the need for a separate heat shield. This innovation allows the engine to manage heat without the additional bulk, making the engine easier to maintain and operate. In comparison to SpaceX's Merlin engines, which are used in the Falcon Heavy, the Raptor 3 produces significantly more power. Each Merlin engine generates around 190,000 pounds of thrust, while a single Raptor 3 can generate up to 500,000 pounds. This gives Starship a payload capacity of 100 to 150 metric tons to low Earth orbit, far surpassing Falcon Heavy's 63.8 metric tons. Moreover, the Raptor 3 eliminates many of the challenges faced by earlier versions, particularly Raptor 2, which experience failures like hot gas leaks and fires during test flights. By reducing the number of bolted joints and streamlining the hot gas manifold, SpaceX has increased the reliability and thrust-to-weight ratio of the engine. Raptor 3 can exceed 300 tons of thrust in future iterations, making it one of the most powerful rocket engines ever developed. Don't forget to check the link in the description to grab your own highly realistic Starship model. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.